Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Asif Yaman Anis, AF190033. I will explain about our project group introduction. First of all is our project background. Sustainability, minimizing operating expenses and decreasing carbon footprint are industrial goals. Energy efficiency is not new. The 1973 until 1974 energy crisis increased concerns about power rates and energy. The scarcity of electricity has hurt layer concentrating on conservation. The 1990s, when the first environmental movement began, are instance of sustainability, lead green construction certification for hotels. The 2008 until 2009 financial crisis boost their prominence in the 2000s. Hoteliers should limit utilities to save money. The hotel industry runs around the clock, seven days a week, 365 days a year, with guests expecting a restaurant, fitness centers, and spas. The big the backs the issue of how the industry can be sustainable while yet delivering luxury. In 1987, the Bradland Commission defined sustainable development as development that fulfills present needs without endangering future generations. Capacity to meet their own needs by which it 2007. Sustainable development should minimize environmental impact while protecting natural resources. Sustainability inspires sustainable design in her book Sustainable Design of Interior Environment. Richip described sustainable design as design that respects people and the world by preserving present and future generations. The principle serves as the basis for sustainable design. Last but not least, this study aims to show why the hotel industry should become more sustainable and how to do it. The research examines the hotel industry's energy, water, and trash usage. It will also examine how energy efficiency, water conservation, recycling, and green design might reduce environmental stress. Several case studies and advantage will support the premise that the hotel business may be sustainable. Next is about our objective projects. Number one is produce a consistent way to measure and talk about things. Number two, recognize and reward environmental innovation that is coordinates and takes the whole building into account. Number three, change to the built environment to make it less harmful to the environment. And last but not least, number four is making sure that modern structures are still useful while making sure that existing structures are properly cared for or managed to keep them useful. Uh, Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Anakim Ben Karudin. I will present for my part is Chapter 2 which is Literature Review. Sustainability. Sustainability is described as appropriate engagement with the environment to avoid natural resources, depletion or deterioration and to ensure long-term environmental quality. Sustainability approach Building with renewable and recyclable resources and material is referred as to sustainable construction. During construction projects, special attention must be paid to reducing waste and energy consumption as much as feasible as well as protecting the natural environment surrounding the construction site. Sustainability approach Products, behavior, procedures and policies all play a role in sustainable construction approaches. Sustainable construction approaches are used from the beginning of a project's design to the end of the operation. Construction management Construction management is a difficult job that necessitates substantial construction industry knowledge and expertise, as well as business management skills. Construction management is critical to effective project outputs and meet and exceed client expectations regardless of the type 
of project or how it must be delivered. Uh, there are five phases in construction management. First, the initial phase. Second, pre-construction phase. Third, procurement phase. Fourth, construction phase. And lastly, post-construction phase. Thank you. Hello, my name is Olivia and I will present the sustainability strategies for rooftop building. First is uh, solar system. By installing solar panels on rooftop or on the ground, hotels can generate electricity from the panels. The solar power generated is a supplement to the existing grid connection. Saving on electric cost is the most obvious benefit and contribution to the financial bottom line. The second strategy is on lighting. First, co using compact fluorescent light like bulb CFL, it consumes up to 75% less energy than incandescent light and lasts up to 10 times as long. Second is by allowing in natural light, effective day lighting can eliminate the need for artificial lighting. Third is place a reminder card in each guest room, telling them to switch off the lights when they depart. And fourth is to install a compensation sensor in guest room and conference room, which automatically off the light if the room is unoccupied. The third strategy is green roof. The waterproof membranes protect the roof structure from moisture and is typically laid in three layers, preventing leaks into the structure. The vegetation converts CO2 into oxygen and filler particulate matter from the air. Green roof models help to regulate temperature in building. The building will feel warmer in winter and cooler in summer. Next is sustainable interior design. On flooring, bamboo, reclaim wood and cork flooring are sustainable alternatives for flooring that comparable to durability and strength to hardwood floor. Second sustainable interior design is the type of fabric used in hotel and the third Sustainable interior design is for pen and finishes. Using minimal to no VOC chemicals contribute to improve indoor air quality and a healthier environment for hotel guests. The comfort and health of guests might be affected by a good air quality in the hotel. Hi, my name is Mama Alif Mabir Shang student at F190161. Today I will be presenting about the discussion. For discussion of our group project is the Green Building Impact to the society economic environment. Green building and sustainable building is not a new concept. With the green building, it helps the design, construction, operation and also eliminates negative impacts on our climate change and also natural environment. It also has a potential to create beneficial in our economic sector. With the green building, it protects valuable natural resources while improving our quality of society life and also boost our economy. The impact of green building toward the society. As we know, green building has benefits toward the environment and also bring the benefits toward the society, society implication. Many, many advantages revolve around the health and well-being of people work or living in the green building. This type of environment also increase their well-being and has seen improve their sleep and also fever sick building site. Healthy and positive human response are responsible for increased job efficiency. Next, we move to the economical. Green building provides several economical and all financial, which is brings benefits to the variety of different people. This include utility bills saving for big companies such as hotel, rent service or families which is due to the energy and water efficiency and also lower construction costs. This also enhance property value for building developer and also can create a new job. Lastly, we move to the environmental. Green Bundi not only minimize or eliminate negative impact by consuming less water, energy or natural resource, but they also provide a positive environmental effect which is at the building or city scales by generating their own energy or boosting their biodiversity. 
Next page, we move to the advantage of green roof. Firstly, it helps to improve the stormwater management. Next, reduce urban heat temperature and improve air quality. Third, help to extend lifespan of roof life. And lastly, help to reduce the greenhouse gas emission. Next, we move to the benefit of solar panel system. Firstly, it helps to reduce of our energy bills. Next, it helps on the environmental system. And third, it is low maintenance cost for using it. And lastly, it can be applied it everywhere. Lastly, we move to benefit of sustainable interior design. With the benefit of sustainable interior design, Firstly, sustainable interior design use less energy. Next, it helps to reduce the, the environmental impact. Third, it helps to reduce operation costs and the maintenance. And lastly, it helps on reduce the waste material by using the reuse, recycle and reduce system. Hi, my name is Nur Izati Binti Muhammad Basri and my matrix number is AF190181. The first conclusion of our project is that the construction industry is responsible for the extraction of 30% of the world's natural resources as well as the generation of 25% of the world's solid waste. Following that, lean and sustainable construction practices aim to make better use of available resources while producing more environmentally friendly results than traditional construction methods. Furthermore, the goal of a circular economy in the building and construction industry is to reduce waste while increasing the amount of materials reused and recycled. In addition, the building and construction industry is a major contributor to green building which aims to reduce or eliminate negative environmental and climate effects. Finally, our Better 16 project aims to design buildings that are good for the environment, good for the people who live in them, and good for the businesses that use them.